Good afternoon and welcome to English Lessons on Noor TV. In today's lesson, we are going to start with the continuation of the listening comprehension lesson plan. Last week, we started the listening comprehension lesson plan. This week, we're going to continue. I will show you the passage that you heard. This time, you will read it together. And then after that, you're going to answer questions about it and then do some exercises on vocabulary especially. You want to make sure that you understand the words. And then after that, we will have our grammar lesson on adjectives, the simple form of adjective, the comparative form of adjective, and the superlative form of adjective. At the end, you will have another grammar lesson with the verb forms. And if we have time, I also have a vocabulary test for you. But I don't know whether you'll have enough time or not. So let's start our lesson with the first, a little bit of review of the words. And then after that, you're going to read the passage. Let's look at the screen and see the words that we started last week was what? The lesson was on rice. We said what? That this was rice. And then the word, other words in the passage are what? Fertilizer, main, kind, animal feed, probably, poison, enemy, upland, scientist, soil. Please repeat after me together. And please say it loud enough that you hear what you're saying. Please repeat. Fertilizer, main, kind, animal feed, probably, poison, enemy, upland, scientist, soil. Now, let's see if you remember the meaning of these words. Do you remember what fertilizer means? Any guesses? The answer was what? It was plant food. So as we need food, plants need food too. And so what you do is you give some fertilizer to the plant so it will stay healthier. Main was what? What was the meaning of main? The correct answer is what? Most important, the main person, the main lesson, the main factor, most important one. Kind, remember we said there's two meanings. One meaning was what? Type. The other meaning was what? Someone who is nice. So in this case that we are studying in, the, in relation to rice, it simply means types. There are two types of stories, for example, two kinds of stories. Animal feed. Here feed, although feed by itself is a verb, like you feed children or you feed the poor. But in this case, feed simply means what? Food, animal food. Probably means what? Maybe. A very strong possibility. Poison is a substance that can hurt or kill both animals and plants. Uh, so sometimes a plant can be poisoned and the plant dries up, dies. Enemy is what? Someone who wants to hurt you. That person is your enemy not your friend, of course. Upland is highland at some distance from the sea. And scientist is a person or a researcher who does research, of course. And soil, another word for soil is what? Dirt. Uh, OK, now, we will use these words in paragraphs that you will see. But before I show you the paragraph, I want you to repeat after me one more time. Please repeat. Fertilizer, main, kind, animal feed, probably, poison, enemy, upland, scientist, soil. Now, let's look at the paragraph. We will read it together, and you will see these words in context, and in the context of sentences, and the whole thing in the context of paragraph. Now let me read it. Let's read along. It means you look at that. I will read it. You follow along. People all over the world eat rice. Millions of people in Asia, Africa, and South America eat it 
every day of their lives. Some people eat almost nothing but rice. Rice is a kind of grass. There are more than 7,000 kinds of rice. Farmers grow rice in many countries, even in southern part of the United States and in eastern Australia. No one really knows where rice came from. Some scientists think that it started to grow in two places. They think that one kind of rice grew in southern Asia thousands of years ago. Someone in China wrote a book about it almost 5,000 years ago. Another kind of rice probably grew in West Africa. Other scientists think that rice came from India and Indian travelers took it to other parts of the world. There are two main ways to grow rice. Upland rice grows in dry soil. Most rice grows in wet soil. People in many countries do all of the work of growing rice by hand. This is the same way farmers worked hundreds of years ago. In some countries, people use machines on their rice farms. The farmers all use fertilizers. Some insects are enemies of rice. Farmers poison them. People use every part of the rice plant. They make animal feed and rice oil from it. They also make baskets, brooms, rugs, sandals, and roofs for their houses. They burn dry rice plants and fires for cooking. So every part of rice is usable. That may be another reason why it's a very popular uh, uh, plant uh, in, in, uh, in Asia and in, uh, in many parts of the world. Now that you have heard the story twice and we read it together once, let's see if you can answer some basic questions about it and then we will continue with our lesson. Question number one, based on what you heard and what you read, see if you can answer this question. What kind of plant is rice? What kind of plant is rice? The correct answer is what? It's a kind of grass. There are different types of plant. One kind of plant is called grass. So in other words, rice belongs to the grass family. How many kinds of rice are there? How many kinds? If you remember uh, correctly, we just said that what? There are 7,000 types of rice. 7,000 types of rice. How do farmers kill insects? How do farmers kill insects? The answer is what? The farmers poison them. They poison insects. They put that substance so that they will die. Now, let me read the questions and the answers, and then we move to the next page. What kind of plant is rice? Rice is a kind of grass. How many kinds of rice are there? There are more than 7,000 kinds of rice. How do farmers kill insects? Farmers poison insects. Now, there are a number of questions here. You write T for true and F for false answers. If, however, the information that I read to you, and you read it yourself on your screen, does not include the answers, then you say what? new information. In other words, if you didn't read it or didn't hear it, and I, there's a question about it, you put new information, N-I. So let's read the first one. Rice is a kind of grass. What do you think? Is this true or false? We just said that what? It belongs to the grass family. It should be what? A true statement, T. Rice grows on dry land and in wet soil. What about that one? So there are basically two ways to grow rice, in wetlands and on dry land, or upland as we said it. So the answer is what? Correct. Scientists know that rice came from India. 
Well, if you say no, it means what? They are 100% sure. The answer is what? That they are not 100% sure. So if they're not 100% sure, it means what? The statement is false. True, false. Please say false. It's a false statement, incorrect statement. Sentence number four. Rice grows in the United States. Is that correct? Do people grow rice in the United States? The answer is what? Yes. So it's true. There are more than 7,000 kinds of rice. And the answer for this one is what I said repeatedly is true. So let me read these sentences, and then we'll move to the next page. Rice is a kind of grass. True. Rice grows on dry land and in wet soil. Yes, true. Scientists know that rice came from India. That's false because they can't say for sure. Number four, rice grows in the United States. That's what we read, yes. There are more than 7,000 kinds of rice. That's what I also read to you. That's also correct. Now let's look at sentence number six. Maybe Chinese travelers took rice to India. And from what you read and what you heard last time, that cannot be correct. So this is what? False. More people grow rice with machines than by hand. Is that correct? Who? More people grow rice with machines or more people grow rice with, by their hand? The correct answer is what? That they use basically the very traditional way of farming. So there are no machines for that. So it is false. Farmers use fertilizer to kill insects. And that is what? Do farmers, first of all, kill insects? The answer is what? Yes, because insects are the enemies of what? Rice. But how do they kill them? Do they use fertilizer? No. They use fertilizer for what? For plant food, just to make the rice farms richer, get more rice from the land. So the answer is what? False. So how do they kill the insects? What was the answer? The answer was that the farmers, what's the word for that? It starts with P. The farmers poison the insects. Not, do not give them fertilizer. They poison them. Sentence number nine. Chinese farmers need more fertilizer than Indian farmers. Did I read this to you? Did you hear this? The answer is what? No. So we have actually no information about this one. So NI, no information based on this. Number 10, people use every part of the rice plant. That was probably, I think, is the reason for the popularity of the rice plant. The answer is yes, true. Let me read these questions with the correct answers and then you will move to the next page. Maybe Chinese travelers took rice to India. False. More people grow rice with machines than by hand. False. The opposite is true, that more people grow rice by hand, not, uh, not with machines. Number eight, farmers use fertilizer to kill insects. False. Farmers use poison to kill insects. Number nine, Chinese farmers need, Chinese farms need more fertilizer than Indian farms. That's the information we didn't read to you. I didn't read to you. People use every part of the rice plant, and that was correct. Now, here I have three sentences for you. One sentence is the most important idea. Remember we said main means what? Most important. In other words, that the whole thing is around that. Now, which of these sentences is the main idea? If you find that sentence right, M, and if it is not the main idea, it's just detail, right, D. Let me read the sentences for you first. Number one, rice is a very important crop, but nobody knows where it came from. Is this the main idea? Is this the main message? Number two, people grow rice in many countries. Is this what the main message is? 
or is it just an example or detail? Number three, today rice farmers use machine, fertilizers, and poison. Is this what the main message is? Now let's look which one is the main message. Number one, rice is a very important crop, but nobody knows where it came from. This is what? The main idea sentence. Because the whole thing is that we use every part of uh, rice, that so many people eat rice, there are 7,000 types of rice. We're just saying that what? It's a very important crop. That's the main idea. People grow rice in many countries. That's just not the main, main message. That's D, detail. Today, rice farmers use machine, fertilizers, and poison. That's also some extra information, detail. But the most important idea is number one. Rice is a very important crop, but nobody knows where it came from. Now, what I have here, these are words that we used in the passage. And then I have some sentences basically taken from the passage. And I want to see if you could use these words in the blank spaces and make these sentences grammatically correct and also meaningful. Let's first see if you remember the meaning of these words. Please look at the words and repeat after me together. Please repeat. Brooms, rice, sandals, grass, rugs, even, probably, eastern, Roofs. Remember, I said there are two pronunciations for this. Some people pronounce it roof, other people pronounce it roof. Different parts of the United States have different pronunciation for this. Please repeat west, west, soil, soil, insects, insects. One more time, please repeat brooms, rice, sandals grass, rugs, even, probably, eastern, roofs, west, soil, insects. Sentence number one. They also make baskets, blank, 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 and blank for their houses. So you need to choose one, two, three, four words from this list to make this sentence complete. So actually, you take a lot of these words out here. Sentence number two. Rice is a kind of what? In other words, to what family does it belong? Do you remember? Find the words, put it here. Number three. People all over the world eat what? Number four. Farmers grow rice in many countries, in the blank and in the southern part of the United States and in Australia. Now let's see if you have the right answers. They also make baskets, what else? Rugs, what else? Sandals, what else? Brooms, what else? Roofs for their houses. So all these four words, they make baskets, rugs, sandals, brooms, and roofs for their houses from rice. It's not what you eat, you make all other things from rice as well. Sentence number two, rice is a kind of what? The answer is what? Grass, it belongs to the grass family. Number three, people all over the world eat what? The answer is what? Here, rice. Number four, farmers grow rice in many countries. And the what? Eastern and southern part of the United States and in Australia. So these are the answers. Let me read these sentences with correct completion. They also make baskets, rugs, sandals, brooms, and roofs for their houses. Rice is a kind of grass. People all over the world eat rice. Farmers grow rice in many countries, in the eastern and southern part of the United States and Australia. Now, Three more sentences, three more words. 
some blank are enemies of rice. What are enemies of rice? Another kind of blank grew in Africa. Which word can you use here? Upland rice grows in dry what? Some what? Some insects are enemies of rice. The correct word is what? For this blank is insects. Another kind of grow, grew in Africa. Of course, we talk about what? Rice. We used rice twice in this uh, sentences. In these sentences, number seven, upland rice grows in dry soil. Let me read this with correct completion. Some insects are enemies of rice. Another kind of rice grew in Africa. Upland rice grows in dry soil. Now. I have some of the same words, but this time the context of the sentences are not from the reading, are not from the passages we read. The context come from outside. So I want you to really uh, uh, look at these words, look at the sentences, and kind of guess what should be the correct answer. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to take a short commercial break. After the break, we're going to do this exercise. Please stay with us. Thank you.